Good morning, everyone. Today is July 4th, 2021. And we are going to chant Shishin Rai this morning. Shishin Rai will appear on the screen, so please keep watching the screen for Shishin Rai. Please join me in the show. Please put your palms together. Namo Amida Butz. Namo Amida Butz. Namo Amida Butz. Namanda Butz. Namanda Butz. Namanda. Now, I would like to share Shinran Shogun's Wasan poem, so please join me in Gashou. Please put your palms together. Taishi Hakusai Koku ni imashimashite. 仏像狂老狂律論造と報復美国をこの町に渡したまいしその時はと When from Paikche, Prince Shotoku sent Buddhist statues, scriptural collections of sutras, Vinaya texts, and treatises, Buddhist wives, monks, and nuns to Japan. Namo Amida Butz, Namo Amida Butz, Namo Amida Butz, Namanda Butz, Namanda Butz, Namanda Butz. So again, uh, this wasan continues to tomorrow's wasan and talking about the previous life of Prince Shotoku. When Prince Shotoku in previous life in Pakshi, he sent Buddhist statues, scriptural collections of sutras, vinayas, and a treatise, Buddhist robes, monks, and nuns. So I am sure that I have mentioned a tripitaka before. Tri means three. A pitaka means basket. It is said that when Shakyamuni Buddha passed away, one of his disciples said 
something like now I don't have to worry about getting or well, being scolded scolded by breaking the precepts. So one of the main disciples of Shakyamuni, Mahakashapa, worried about the future of the Sangha. So he gathered 500 monks and recited the teaching of Buddha and precepts set by Buddha together. Ananda, another disciple and cousin of Shakyamuni Buddha, took lead on confirming the teaching. And Upali, another disciple, took the lead on uh, collect, collecting and um, confirming the precepts. And teaching is compiled as sutra, and precept is compiled as vinaya. And I don't think they wrote something down at that time, but later uh, they needed to write everything down and gather uh, teaching sutras and uh, vinaya precepts. So the basket was used to collect the teaching and vinaya. And 100 years after the passing of Shakyamuni Buddha, the Sangha had spread mainly into two. Uh, Travara, uh, the traditional group, consists of the elder disciples and Mahasangika. The rational group consists of many, in, many uh, people, including lay, lay people. Then the analysis of the Dharma became one of the focuses. So they studied the sutras and analyzed the Dharma. And this is called Abhidharma. And one of the biggest groups was uh, Sarvastivara and our second Pialam masters, Vasbandu. He studied the philosophy of Sarvastivara school, probably through the uh, scope or the understanding of Sautrantika school. And later he turned into Mahayana Buddhism and he left so many commentaries on Mahayana sutras. And now Abhidharma often refers to the Buddhism before Mahayana Buddhism. So when we say Abhidharma, it excludes the uh, treatise on Mahayana Sutra. So it is translated as a treatise in today's Wasam. And these three, Sutras, uh, Vinaya, and uh, treatise, consist of Tripitaka, the three baskets of Buddhism. Also, the statue of Buddhism was something important for religious life for person. At the time of Prince Shotoku, gold and bronze statues were popular, but wooden statues becomes the mainstream of Buddhist statues. And robes. Originally in India, robes were sewed together by monks. They gathered abandoned clothes or donated clothes and uh, sew robes. It is hot in India, so they only needed few robes. But in China, it gets really cold in some places. So the robes became more layered kind of robes. You know, I don't know if you can see well, but now I'm wearing uh, three layers of robes. And this is daily robes for the priests in our tradition. And we see the words nuns in today's wasan. And I am not sure if nuns really came to Japan at the time of Buddhism arriving to Japan. But actually, it is said that the first ordained people in Japan were nuns. Uh, they were Zenshingi, Ezengi, and Zenzongi. And Zenshingi is the daughter of Shibadatto. Shibadatto probably came from um, ancient Korea. And he was the followers of Buddhism before Buddhism officially came into Japan. In 584, his daughter Zenshingi became disciple of a monk named Ebin, who came from a Korea. And Ezengi and Zenzongi became disciple of Zenshingi. So when the persecution of Buddhism by Mononobe no Moriya occurred in 585, they were severely punished and tortured. Like, you know, taking all the robes off and whipped. But, you know, it, 
絵心にな絵心に、全身に、you know, did not quit. She went to、uh, Pakshe to study Vinaya and she came back to Japan and made tremendous efforts to spread Buddhism in Japan. And, you know, I don't usually dislike someone, but Mononobe no Moria, I am not sure. You know, I don't understand the need of taking robes off of nuns and whip them. That is really terrible things to do. But, you know, at the same time, I have really deep respect to those three nuns who persevered the torture and, you know, spread the Buddhism teaching in Japan. By the way,、uh, there is a famous Buddhist sculptor named Kuratsukuri no Tori. He made Shakyamuni Triad in Horyuji Temple. Uh, which I shared the picture in the past wasan. Tori style was one of the most popular styles around the time, and Zen Shingi is actually the auntie of Kuratsukuri no Tori. So her family played a really important role for the Buddhism teaching in Japan to spread. So, anyway, I hope today's explanation helped. And in closing, please join me in Gashio. Please put your palms together. ナモアミダブツ、ナモアミダブツ、ナモアミダブツ、ナマンダブツ、ナマンダブツ、ナマンダブツ。So this will conclude today's morning service. And today's Sunday, so if you have time, please join us for the Sunday service from 10 a.m. on this YouTube channel. And the link for the service is in the description section of this video. So、uh, please click. And、uh, please wait until 10 a.m. for the service to begin. So, thank you all for attending today's service. And in、um, I hope you will have a great day today. And hope to see you 10 a.m. or tomorrow morning. So, thank you. <laughs>